The trailer for the upcoming film Sicario has hit the web. Sicario follows FBI agent Kate, played by Emily Blunt, and her conflicting journey that descends into the intrigue, corruption, and moral mayhem of the borderland drug wars. In the lawless border area stretching between the U.S. and Mexico, Kate is exposed to the brutal world of international drug trafficking by members of a government task force who have enlisted her in their plan to take out a Mexican cartel boss. The film also stars Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro and opens September 18th in limited release with the wide release the following week. David, do you buy or sell this trailer for Sicario? I definitely buy a Sicario trailer. Uh, I buy anything with Benicio Del Toro. Uh, he's just, he's an odd guy, but he's odd in all the right ways. He is, in my opinion, I think like a true movie star. Maybe he's not the, the biggest name on the planet like Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise, but he embodies the, the strangeness and the weirdness and the talent to pull off anything that he's in. He looks like old Benicio. He's got lean, you know, his, yeah, the bads under his good. eyes are less. They're still there, but maybe not as much <laughs> as he normally has. You know, I mean, he's just such a cool guy. And of course, Emily Blunt is fantastic and everything she does. She's just popping up in a lot. She's becoming almost like an Amy Adams in a way. They're both very different in their approach, but she's just popping up in everything. You're starting to see her more and more. So I'm excited for her, especially after Edge of Tomorrow or, or Live, Die, Repeat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think she's fantastic. So I definitely buy this trailer. I'm excited to see this. I think it's going to be good. And the writer, John, uh, he only has two credits to his name, but he was in 21 episodes, I looked up, of uh, Sons of Anarchy, which I know you and I, he, was, he, played, really? he played the sheriff for a couple seasons after uh, really? that ball guy left. Yeah, yeah, he oh was in Sons goodness. of Anarchy. He okay. doesn't have many writing credits. He has one other writing credit. That's, that's hilarious. I got to yeah. look that up now. Yeah. That's so, hilarious. Yeah. Well, I'm going to buy this too. Yeah. I, especially, I like this cut of this trailer better than the first version mm -hmm. of the trailer I saw a while ago because the first version of the trailer gave away a lot and I think a very key plot twist uh, at the first trailer and this one you kind of get a hint at it but it doesn't hit you over the head with it so I like that you're right Benicio Del Toro a lot of people forget how talented this guy is because he can play Mexican drug cartel murder movies mm -hmm. blah, blah, and that he's the same guy who was in Snatch <laughs> I mean this I mean and he's brilliant he's when, also the collector he is also the collector <laughs> which I, probably my least favorite part of Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy that wasn't his fault it's the way they went with it but I like this trailer you're right the names attached involved the, the drama looks intense those scenes in the streets and stuff like mm -hmm. that you could feel the tension even just in the trailer so for me it's a buy yeah Benicio Del Toro I just saw him play Pablo Escobar in a movie that was okay, um, Parad it was Escobar Paradise Lost. Um, it was it, it was it was an okay film, but he was fantastic in it. Um, but I a hundred percent, I have a thousand percent buy this movie, and I have from the start. Um, the director Denis Villeneuve and. I'm doing my best with that. <laughs> um, he did Prisoner as an Enemy. Yes. And he is attached to the new Blade Runner movie, which is just like a fascinating pick to me because he uh, he really does kind of, I think, capture his other films, capture the tone of Blade Runner, which I'm not actually sure means that it's going to be a great blockbuster success, <laughs> but I think it'll be right. an awesome movie. And if you guys haven't seen those two films, Prisoner as an Enemy, you should check it out. Yeah. He does really interesting work, so I'm I'm all for it. 